What's up, Warhawks Army? It's Iron Man here alongside my amazing wife, Sharania. Hi, guys. He really didn't run out of analogies. Yes, I did. And welcome to Warhawks Entertainment, Inc. LWL Season 2, Episode 10. We have some more tri-branded action for you because SummerSlam. We will start off with a promo by Dolph Ziggler, followed by an elimination tourney, uh, normal tag team match between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton and the Dudley Boys. And the rest of the match you can kind of see right there, so we will get right into it without any further ado. This will be fun. I try to make it fun. It is. I like the look of it anyway. What? I'm not one for making sense. <sighs> Makes sense, you. Never. Does this make sense to you? Ah, uh, speak out. Something that neither of us know. Right. <laughs> we thought we, we might thought hear my hair by the time. It's short, short. It's time to turn the point across. Let's see what he has to say. You're probably wondering why I'm out here right now. Why I went up to the sound guy, told him to play my music, walked down that aisle, slapped a few hands, got in here, and picked up this microphone. I could stand out here and tell you that everything in the WWE is awesome right now, but I don't want to lie to the WWE Universe. That is, that's a job for the, w, the authority, wow. The truth is, things around here haven't been that great, and I'm going to do something about it. I've not only come out here to tell you how great I am, I'm here to prove it. That being said, I challenge anyone in that locker room to come down here and see if they have what it takes to keep up with me in the ring. A lot of superstars would love to be standing in this ring right now. But they know they don't have the right to co right to. Come to think of it, they might not know the way without directions. The bottom line is, I'm standing here because I've earned my chance. Now it's time for me to take it. I have a hunch that what I've said out here tonight isn't going to go over well with the boys in the back. Unfortunately, that's the nature of competition here in the WWE. In order to get noticed, you need to make a few waves, and, it's, and it looks like I've just started a, one serious storm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Next up. team that used to be known as the new Wyatt family take on the Dudley Boys. I think this is going to be one of the best matches we've seen in a long time. Oh, I'm hoping so. And I figured why not a tag team that recently broke up with another tag team that is legendary. Right? Oh, well, that didn't take long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think they really have entrances because they're matching them off. Nope, there's entrances coming up. Oh. To be fair, two of the entrances are basically the same, so. Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah, it's because they're all in the same show, that's why. Okay. Uh huh? <laughs> I'm like, why didn't they come out together? <laughs> Bray with a pump handle slam right out of the gate. Picks him up. Counter. Knee to the back. Counter. Suplex. Of some variation. Yeah. Counter. 
Nick Crank. Okay, what are you doing? Second Taking rope, rope but... interrupted by Orton. I say you're kind of in the wrong corner there. Off the ropes. Mindbuster? One handed. Working on that leg. They don't have like follow the buzzers or anything? I guess not. Elbow. DDT. How the hell did you confuse that with a DDT? That was a cutter. They basically just use Randy's move on Ray. How do you confuse that with a DDT? It didn't feel like, that's the thing, for some reason, that didn't feel like an RKO, but yeah, it was an RKO. More or less. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What time is it? It's only 10.56, don't give me that bullshit. After last night? Nice double team. Counter. Counter. And camel clutch. Counter. Punches in the corner is Devon. Second rope. Oh, okay. I'm like, what is he doing? Backbreaker. That's, that's a backbreaker? Mm-hmm. That doesn't quite make sense. Counter. Running neckbreaker. Tag to Bubba. And double team. I have no idea what to call that. Counter. Elbow. Shades of the legendary Dusty Rhodes. Alright, we got we get we're calling for something here. Went and for, gets countered. Went for the bubble bomb, I think. RKO! Yeah. His un, arm is under the rope though. <laughs> Counter. And the over. cover. One! Two! Kick out! Definitely not into the ropes there. Into the corner. Alright, we got a double team. Double flat deck. Cover! For some reason, Maybe Bubba breaks it up. up. Yeah, what the heck? Jumping elbow drop. Oh, punches to the face. Dang, uh, no, no, I thought he was going to tag in Bubba, but I guess not. Counter. Not a counter. Into a neutral corner. And second rope. Neck breaker. I was say, it wasn't for the fact he moved forward, I was going to say it was the same thing Orton did. Yeah. But no, only Orton does that back breaker. Mm. Orton going for his comeback. Power slam. 
Stops. Ray calling for a tag. Randy doesn't want to do it though. Randy never really ever pl like plays well with others, does he? No, he doesn't. Counter. Counter. The shoulder block. Cover. Cover. One. Oh. Broken, uh, not broken up. Kick out. Uh. Counter. Uh. Heard me. One handed spine buster. Get a tag. Tag. And they keep on switching real quick here, so. Well, I mean, it's classic tag team strategy. Cover one, two, broken up. You know, as a former multiple time tag team champion, I can tell you that, that is a good strategy. Yep, and Bray is kind of uh, messing with them. Counter. Off the distraction. Gut wrench, suplex. Or not even a suplex, just a. Gut wrench, something, whatever that is. It wasn't is. a crucifix. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even a one. Because his foot was under the ropes. Uh oh. Closing. No, I think he's yes he. Uh, no, he's not. I was like, I think he's going for Sister Abigail, but I guess not. He does have a taunt with that, so. Running senton. And I got cover. Cover. One. One two. two. No. Nope. Devon didn't even try to help him, but he didn't need to. And now Devon's glitching. Yep, his foot. As always. It's, the foot will glitch a lot in the end. Uh-oh. Now, now he's, he's going for Sister Abigail. Yep. I've been in the ring with him. That is fucking creepy. He's waiting for it. And, you know, Sister Abigail. when I see shit like that from Bray Wyatt, that's why I'm glad he's on a different brand. Yeah. So, uh -huh. if you're so scared of Bray Bray... Really now? Yes! You're clearly scared of Bray Bray if, you know, you're that excited for him being on another brand. Nice counter. Now don't go putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying I can't beat him. I'm just saying I'm glad I don't have to try! <laughs> you're also glad that, you know, you don't have to look at him every week and say if he has a fight or a match or not. Right. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. Double flapjack, as you called it. Yes, it is. That is exactly what it is. For some and reason, he, he Devon kind of interrupted. I don't think that's an intentional thing. I think that's a glitch that the... They do sometimes. After that particular move, actually, I've noticed. Yeah, it's like, the hell, guys? Nope, counter. Back suplex. Atomic elbow, as you called it. Or bionic bionic elbow. Bionic elbow. Okay. Dusty Rhodes. The American dream, if you will. Bubba bomb! That's gonna hurt. Yep. Trust me, I've been hit by it. I'm about to ask. Do you know from experience? Have you experienced this Abigail? More times than I'd like to admit. How was it like it, him kissing her forehead? Did it relax you? No, it just creeped me the fuck out. Now you see, that's what I should have put you. Uh, speaking of Sister Abigail. In these matches. Uh, Bubba, you're kind of supposed to, um... Oh, okay. And I'm like, you're kind of supposed to... Sister Abigail! Cover. cover! One! 
Two. Two. Randy's not even trying. Three. And or not Randy. Devon. Yeah. Bubba Ray has been eliminated. Devon smartly getting off the apron. Yeah, but he has to go in the ring. Catherine. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, I drank it. Yeah, I know. Give me another one. Swinging neck breaker. Uh oh. Is uh yes he is. I've countered this move. Oh, oh blood sacrifice. Hunt. Blood sacrifice in the first match. In the corner. Counter. Counter. Devon fighting, but he's not. He he doesn't seem to be doing a good job. Numbers game might catch up to him. That DDT. I don't know why I'm confusing my moves tonight. I've countered that punt into a power slam before. Trust me, it was an easy. And another, okay, bass, are we double teaming? Yes, we Let's are. Uh, double axe that. handle. Trying to take out that arm. Sorry. No worries. Suplex slam. Towards Bray, taunting. Bray says he is the eater of worlds, but he may be the eater of pinfalls as well. I mean, um... Nick Crank picks him up. You're a Nagi. Fix him up. Oh, counter by Devon. He's so fighting. Despite of me and by himself now. Oh, well. Oh, another Sister Abigail. Consider that brief moment of uh, hope drained. Oh, it's like you might like the taste of blood. Sister Abigail. Cover. cover. One, One, two, two three. three. And Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton win. I'll give it to the Dudley boys, though. They put up a damn good fight. Yep. All right, next up, you are not seeing double. The boss man will take on the boss man. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. This should be entertaining. And that is uh, Corporation Era uh, Big Boss Man versus... When he debuted Era Big Boss Man, and damn, these damn uh, loading isn't taking very long. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe they want to get this show over with. Remember, I think they're not as complicated of entrances. And we're not even going to call them by their names because their names are the same. Suplex! Hey, look at it this way. No matter who wins, Boxman wins. Punch in the not, face. It, it is more of whether or not it's uh, old school or Miles Kearns it can get. Or, you know, we could call them Bossman Blue and Bossman Black. That's literally how they, what they did during a Sin Cara versus Sin Cara feud. But one was wearing a blue costume, the other one was wearing the, a black costume. Fun fact, the one that was wearing the black costume was the fake and is currently playing Sin Cara. Really? Yup. Because the other one had an attitude problem and left. Wow. His last match as Sin Cara, he stopped a match because he dislocated his finger. What? Legitimately. Swing 
a neck breaker by Bossman Blue. Well, I can't say boss man heel and boss man face because he was healed throughout most of his run. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> and camel... Oh, no. No, that's just that one weird move. There's Big right hand. I'm sorry, there's a lot of those. Okay, we'll call him corporate boss man. There we go. That's how we'll differentiate. Corporate boss man calling for something. Boss man slammed, but the other one gets the shoulder up almost immediately. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of damage yet, so... Well, I'm sorry. It's also one of those he's not going to be beaten by his own move. And there is that hat. Get used... Uh, get... Don't get used to it, because in the next game, it it's will be gone. gone. Really a shame. Yeah, unless they do two different commentary teams, which, to be fair, they should. Yeah, you have two different shows, have two different commentary teams, so why not have the choice for one? Three if you count uh, NXT. Fair enough. Well, it's been a great matchup at this point, and this could really go either way. Uh, corporate boss man went for something, but the other one countered. Picks him up. <laughs> belly to belly. Belly to belly with two big with two big guys. Actually, it looks more painful. Belly yeah. to belly by corporate boss man. Cover. Cover. One, two. Fun fact: corporate boss man. Had a Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker at WrestleMania 15. Okay. Widely regarded as the worst Hell in a Cell match ever. Really? Regular Boss Man yeah. with the Boss Man Slam cover. One, two, two. no. Oh. It ended with the Undertaker, Edge, Christian, and Gangrel hanging Boss Man from the cell. It was obviously a harness. Yeah, obviously. He showed up the next night on Raw like nothing had happened. <sighs> yep. Because, you know, everyone in wrestling has very short-term memory. Clearly! <laughs> to be fair, though, the thing that, like, wrestlers have remembered for, like, a long time, time is the fact that, um, Kane and Undertaker are brothers. I don't see, I think that's really the only thing anyone remembers in wrestling other than DX. And the NWO. Mm. Hey, my Angel Kofi Kingston! Is that, hey, whose thing you used to be Jamaican? <laughs> You know, his accent slipped all the time, apparently. No, his accent only slipped once. Yeah. And that was when they dropped it all together. Yeah. Like, he gave this whole rousing speech to Team Raw for Bragging Rights 2009. Uh huh. All without the accent. Whoops. And he goes, any questions? Triple H goes, yeah, I got a question. Aren't you supposed to be Jamaican? Where's your accent? And he just gave a, oh shit. Boss man slam by the Did original. Did he lose his push because of that? No. One, two, three. Hey. Regular boss man picks up the win. Old no. Boss man. He, lo he lost his push because he botched the ending of a match with Randy Orton. And ah. Randy Orton threw one of his little temper tantrums. Ah. We have a triple threat tri branded, I believe, steel cage match. Next, Nia Jax, Tamina, and Alundra Blaze. Only way to win is by pinfall submission or escaping the cage. Yep. Now, here's my question What if two of them escaped the cage at the same time? 
I think the game uh, probably counts for that. I think, I, I think the game... I think they will have broken the game if that happens. Some of these matches aren't going by very... aren't taking very long. Do people have hot dates tonight or something? Damn! Well, I don't know. If one boss man had a hot... I bet they were fighting over who would actually bang her. Well, considering, like actually have considering the, it's both of their wives either way, you know. Yeah, so, so it's just who gets her for tonight or something. She's not like most girls. Oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, also, in the chat... So, what? Naya, are you going to be smart? <laughs> uh. Also, in the chat slash comment section... Give us some ideas for what match types you might want to see in universe mode next, uh, with the next game. You know, we can do custom matches in this game. Yes, we can. Not this game, the next one. The next 2K18. One. Y'all knew what I meant. I wow, and Naya suddenly just kind of glitched to our back. You look at their models, and wow, Naya is just bigger than Tamina. I didn't think she was actually going to be like well, you that know, much Naya, bigger. Naya is kind of big. I, I mean, I, I, you know, don't get me wrong. I like Naya, but Andra she is, is kind of... pandering to the crowd when she could be, you know, climbing, you know, climbing, the, climbing the cage. And the, another glitch. She ended up on her back. Yep. And powerbomb. Yeah, what the hell is with the glitches in this game? Oh, oh damn! Nice. Beautiful, very smart strategy. Take out, uh, take out Naya's legs while she's power bombing Tamina. Take them both down. Yep. Don't forget, she's in there with two Samoan women. Yep. That's not a good. That's not a good thing. <laughs> or at least. Part Samoan in Naya's case, because she is part of the Rock's family, but actually, as opposed to, you know, Blood Brothers like Roman, the Usos, and Tamina herself. Don't forget. Dropkick. Also, people are giving uh, uh, Naya shit because she knocked Bailey down, Bailey rolled out of the ring, watched her roll out of the way. And elbow and went for the elbow drop anyway. It's like, you know, Bailey could have moved out of the way when she was before she was supposed to. Yeah, that might have been part of that. You know, and it's like they're saying she's bad, and it's like, shit happens. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. Heat of the moment. I, if if, if it's, let you in. If it's the heat of Whoa, the moment. Oh, hi. Like, I'm sorry. If it's the heat of the moment, I'm gonna. Uh. If it's the heat of the moment, I'm going to go for it, too. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to think about, oh, they already moved, especially if I'm in mid-motion. Yeah. And... Sunset Slam, yeah. Pandering. Sunset Flip Powerbomb. I'm about to say, like, don't ask me what that was, because that was beautiful. Into the corner. And a hip attack. Tamina with a pin, uh, walking backbreaker. Mm, stretch. Tamina and Naya kind of not getting along after losing to Stephanie and Sharania on Raw. They did lose, didn't they? No, they no, won. No, they won. That's right. Hence the reason why I didn't, you know, we don't have Tony and Stephanie in the match. Fair enough. It's like you would think they would get along a little better. Not always. Not always. Ooh. Now you know I would enjoy the hell out of that. Uh -huh. And. 
Hi, Rake. Has there ever been a more intimidating force than the Demon's Division than to be in? I'm sorry. Karma. The chick she's currently squeezing the head off of. And they're not divas anymore. They're women. Elbows. Yeah. Naya with a back body drop. Naya bro no. broken up by Alundra. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. The first drop kick in the corner. Yeah, but you don't have nails, so. One-handed spine buster. Naya turns her over, turns her some uh, counterclockwise like a clock. <laughs> Leg drop on Tamina. All right, and again, more pandering with a cover. Kick out by Tamina, even though Alundra could have ran over and broken it up at any point. Alright. Counter by Alundra. And it works again. Naya getting tired of Alundra pandering to the crowd. Shoves her down. Then does the same to Tamina. Tamina. Elbow, Elbow drop. drop. And you're going to start. Yeah! Finally, someone starts trying to leave the ring. I am the first lady to try to leave the ring, uh, the cage, and, and uh, she's done it. Yeah, basically they can't get to her. So yeah, they have they have like a stop. So to, to, uh, you know, Alundra could have pinned Tamina while she was climbing the cage, but you know, didn't even make bother. It a, make it a little suspenseful, but I don't think the game would let them. You know, I kind of got to believe that that turned Tamina, uh, uh, I mean, mean that Naya. Naya, a women's championship match on her brand. Perhaps. Uh, and now we have Asuka coming out. Who is she going to, what's she going to say? I think I saw it say call out earlier. And I believe she has a rivalry with um, Sydney, I believe. I believe so. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Yep. Because I don't think she's, um, I don't think she has a rivalry with Charlotte. It's either Sydney or Charlotte. I believe, I think it actually might be Charlotte. What a crowd it is tonight. Hello. Woo. Damn. I love this city. You've got rock, you've got roll, and you've got soul. Who's ready to party? That sounds more like Charlotte face. A little. There's a superstar in the back who I've always respected and, in fact, even considered to be somewhat of an idol in me. She's an amazing athlete and never backs down from a challenge. We have three viewers. How you doing? Hi, guys. You want to see the superstar? I know I do. All right, WWE Universe, say it with me now. Charlotte, come on out here. We're overdue for a talk. So let's have one in this very ring and right in front of the uh, WWE Universe. I can talk. Clearly. Oh, God. I got this one. Okay. WWE Universe, the savior of your women's division has arrived. And from the looks of it, I've arrived just in the time to save you all from whatever this is. Hmm. Wait just a damn minute. This is my time, not yours. The WWE Universe is here to listen to me. Not some cheap waste of space like you. So why don't you go run along like a little girl you, girl you are. I'm okay, sorry. first of all, you called her, her out. out. Yeah. See, this is why I hope they fixed the she engine. Fixed that, yeah. 
It's so cute that you want to be a superstar. You even play dress up and got yourself a costume. But it's all for nothing because everyone knows you're a loser. I'm sorry, she's undefeated. Yeah. Both in real life and in the game. I'm sorry, what did you say? I fell asleep for a minute. Honestly, the WWE Universe didn't come down here tonight to listen to this news fest. They came here to see some action. And so if you're done boring us to tears, I say we give the fans what they want. I don't think the authority will appreciate everything you've said out here tonight. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they scheduled a match between us so I can teach you a lesson so you so rightfully deserve. The lesson, whatever. You got some big words coming out here and making demands. Do you really know what you're asking for? You know who I am, and you know what I can do in this ring. I think you're asking for more than you can chew. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach because you you may want a snack, but I'm a full Thanksgiving feast. I'm sorry, she's kind of a she, she's kind of a pop tart there. Yeah, maybe you were good once, but that was a long time ago in the past. And now it's time for you to step aside and let the real ladies take over. I'm sorry, she. Uh, uh, Oscar was saying that, even though they're both not that old. When I was younger, I was scared of the boogeyman. But now I'm not. I am the boogeyman. A boogie woman? Boogie person? Do you think a boogie person dances in their free time? What we're talking about again? Literally wasn't important to say you don't scare me. I still say that's a good one. That, that's kind of funny, yeah. That's as you. There's no question about it now. There's going to be a match between us. And when you step inside this ring with me, I'm going to give you everything I've got. I hope you're ready for it because I never give less than my best. And I'm going to prove to you in the WWE Universe I am unstoppable. Strong words from the so-called Empress of Tomorrow. She also, barely won that too. Also, I think, my, I think my impression of Charlotte was spot on there. I'm as far as you can be, to be fair. So, unfortunately, I do not have a match tonight, but... Unfortunately. I may consider it. And a promotion by The Undertaker. I know, a lot of promotions and call-outs and... Things and stuff. Unless I wanted The Undertaker on here tonight, and it's like, oh, yeah, I, I said I was going to do that. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, here you go. You can talk for a bit. You know what he whatever he says is not gonna sound anything like him. No, well, they don't have those options. It'd be nice to literally have like a, an engine just for Undertaker because that'd be funny. That would be funny, but you, I highly doubt it. Looks like he's going races with his presence once more. Man, look at him. Oh God. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah. You know what really cheeses my, my biscuits? biscuits? Wow. Not getting the recognition I deserve. You guys know that I'm the best athlete to ever step inside this ring ever. Still, I'm constantly battling to prove myself time and time again. And I'm too damn good to be doing that. So tonight, I present to you my WWE Superstar Manifesto. That sounds more like something like Miz or Ziggler would say. Right? Lately, the, qu the quality of competition around here has been sinking like the Titanic. And here I stand inside this ring with so much without so much as an acknowledgement from the authority. You know what I say? Screw that! It's time they re realize the greatest talent on their roster is standing in this very ring right now. Mr. McMahon often talks about other superstars not being able to grab it, the brass ring. Well, he hasn't met anyone like me before. I'm going to take Mr. McMahon's brass ring and show him what a real superstar looks like. I will be the face of the company. Yeah, no, this doesn't sound like Taker. It makes no sense for this company to employ a thoroughbred like me while the amateurs get the spotlight. Around here, everyone knows I have what it takes to make history. It just comes down to getting the opportunity. And if you won't give it to me, I just, 
I'm just going to have to take it. It all boils down to this. I am too damn good to continue down the path I'm on. So starting right now, I'm changing things up. The new version of me you're about to see around here will be even more amazing than the current version. I'm sorry for all the superstars who go up against me because you're going to fall one by one. That sounded nothing like Taker. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. All right, next up. The, the Monster Zarios will go one-on-one -on -one with all three members of it's the Shield. It's not one-on-one, -on -one, then. It's one-on-three. I know. I was making a joke about what Triple H used to do in the early days of the Authority. So, so if you'll excuse me, guys, i got to go kick some ass. I love that they actually did say it was the Shield. Yeah, they do acknowledge it. doing this match because uh, Mr. Elliot is still slightly salty about the whole you know fact that uh you know at that point if I had won we would have had to do a rubber match probably at SummerSlam you know since a few of our matches are going to be tried uh, be uh, multiple branded anyway since an LWL superstar has my world title Starting now with Roman. Come here, bitch. Oh. Get off me. Okay, Zara starts with a shove and then chop to the back. And stomps. Bitch. And kicks. Another stomp. Oh, come on, Roman. Get up. Stomps. Is this the is this the guy? Come on now. Ugh. Uppercut. Get off me. Shoving him again. Oh shit. Counter. Bitch, I said get off. You know he just kind of shoves people around, and, and he wonders why people just kind of call him a monster. Cause you know he like pushes over a little old ladies, kids. You know, strollers. I'm sorry. I dress in all black. I have a handlebar mustache. I've got purple eyes and horns. Do I look like a good guy to you? Looks like you're trying to be like a beefed up version of Markiplier. Not sure if I should take that as a compliment or not. Oh shit. Yeah, Marky Moo has a better voice. Really now. Uh -huh. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to WWE 2K17. You, you lost it, you definitely lost it till the end, near the end because your uh, voice started to crack. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh. How you like that? Knee breaker. Get over here. Hoi, oh, oh, yep, counter oh. by Roman. No choke slam this time. Partners, where we're going, we don't need partners. All right, we get 
Ambrose okay. in here. Okay, I like this. Get over there. Boom! Boot to the face. And Roman is still not out of the ring yet. Roman, you're going to get your team disqualified. Get that ass on that apron. Turn it over. I ain't finished with you yet. Get up. Mix him up. Hold on. Yeah, it was yeah, a suplex. suplex. Okay, my man's like, what? Down with an uppercut. Ow! Ow! Stomps. Roman, Pan, and uh. trying the crowd. Uh. Okay, I've had enough. Get off Counter. me. Get up. Neck crank. Hold it. I'm going to break that, his neck. You'd think that wouldn't actually affect him too much, to be fair. Why not? Didn't he used to do that? Yeah, fair enough. Get up. And... Chuck What up? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Don't forget, and counter oh, by Ambrose. Counter by Zeros. Oh, come on. Did you really think that was going to... Counter by Ambrose. Ow. And punches to the face. Really, dude? All right, now we have... Uh, Mr. The Rollins. Ow. Short DDT. And Rollin. Rollins, you're going to regret that. This is our uh, universe mode, what up? Uh, I mentioned I mentioned it toward the end of the stream last night, if you remember. Counter by Zerios. Stomps. Stomps. This is my alternate character. I have two characters in the game. This one and another one. And... Hesitating suplex. That's a seven foot guy, so that's really gonna hurt. In the corner we go. Counter. Bitch! Counter by Zeros. What? Darkness Falls, Choke Slam! We got a pin! One, two, five, say, is that going to be the first one that gets eliminated? It's not an elimination match. Fair enough. That corner is re really going to hurt, too. Yeah, it is! Oh, counter by Seth. Oh, come on, Seth. Did you really think that was going to work? Get up. And... <sighs> joke slam. Drag, drag. All right, we got cover. One, two, nope. Neither oh. Ambrose... Nor Roman were coming out to help. That's all right. I wasn't done with him anyway. Nerd pinch. You're not Vulcan. Are you Plus sure about that? Out of it. You're not a Vulcan. Are you sure about that? To be fair, you're a little bit more hot-headed than a Vulcan can be. Fair enough. Single leg camel crew. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, Boston crab. My brain never thinks of it. Oh. Ooh. Damage may have been done to that knee, though. We know R Rollins has trouble with that knee. Fair enough. Huh? Ooh. Avada Kedavra. And it's going for it. No. Huh. And pedigree. Ooh. 
And I didn't counter that. How? Oh. All right, we got a cover. One, two. Fuck off me. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damages. All right, all right. we have the Roman Empire coming in. All right, come here, bitch. Yes, I am. I am fighting the shield. And this is all computer controlled. One, two, nope. What part of fuck off me don't you understand, Roman? Ah. And counter by Zerios. Oi. Oh. oh, blood sacrifice with a counter. Okay, that does it. Superman punch! Ow! Working on that arm! Yeah, uh, I had sh uh, shield Superman. the tires, but it took up created wrestler slots, so I kind of. So, you know, I kind of didn't Give feel like up. keeping them. Stomps! Get up. Oh shit. Seven feet, 450 pounds. How the hell did he do that? It's Roman Reigns. I swear, they're trying to groom him into the new John Cena. Clearly. You're gonna pay for that. Oh shit. Counter by Roman. Ow. Told you we were gonna pay for Zeros. that. Get up, I ain't done with you yet. And... Kill her this time, bitch! Choke slam. Really close to that shield corner there. I know, why well, you think I can go for the cover? Oh shit! Ow! Counter my Roman! On for it! Nope. Nice counter, though. Get up. Wow. What you gonna do, bitch? And Snake Eyes in his own corner. Not a damn thing. That's what I thought. Counter by Roman. DDT. Roman didn't really change his mind. One. Right? Two. Y'all have to do better than that, bitch. But yeah, right? No, he's, he's bleeding. He's bleeding profusely here. You, sh you of all people should know, bleeding just makes me angrier. Alright, you've got cover. One, with it broken out by Ambrose. And Ambrose getting involved. I want to say reverse DDT actually. Or an inverted That's TV. exactly what it was. Inverted and um, what I'm about to say, what is uh, Ambrose doing there? Okay, bitch. Alright. And takes him to the corner. Tag. What the hell? Oh shit! What? Ow! Um, my brain's like uh, part of a power slam and. Hurricane Rana into a power bomb. Okay, my brain's like, what was going on? Ow! On that arm! Alright, calling him up. Ow. Right? You got cover. One, two. Nope. Get off me. Ow. Dub. And counter by Zerios. 
kick. Oh. Punch. Oh, shit. Ah. Now, see what that is? I'm not sure. He calls it the Seth Walker. Okay. Vada Kadabra. Okay, some in the middle of the room, or like semi middle. One, two, nope. And a counter. Get over here. Uh, two. two. Interrupted by Ambrose. Ambrose, I'm gonna make you my bitch. Well, right now he's uh kind of distracting you there. Yeah, kind of distracting me. Even though I just went right back to Rollins. Oh shit. Breaker. Oh shit. Curb stomp. Haven't seen that one in a long time. Uh. One, two. Did, nope. Didn't he eliminate your husband with that move? Yes, he did, but I meant this outside of the life. game, yeah. Do you know why? It was uh, banned. Legitimately, yes. Told you I was gonna make you my bitch. Get up. Chub slam. Roll over. I don't know yet. Working on that leg. He ain't having kids. Sorry, Renee Young. Stomps. Get a oh shit. Counter. Ugh. For DDT. And now either the shield would be disqualified or I'm gonna sit backstage. Yeah. And oh, went front line, got countered. Oh, no, 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 uh, what up? I, he's facing all three of them. At the same time, it's a handicap Swing match. He's fighting all three of them. I just realized that's what he meant. He thought Ambrose wasn't involved in the match. Darkness fall. Yeah. One, two. You might have to somehow get rid of uh, the other two members of the shield so you can actually do a cover. Fair enough, yeah. Daughter lock. Breaking up the pin, yeah, if he didn't get back out of the ring in time, yeah. And Darkness Falls, another uh, fourth time at this point. This point, yeah. Cover. One, two, three. And Zerios wins against the Shield. I just did something the Juggernaut couldn't do. I think I earned a little bit of bragging rights there. Perhaps. Alright, next up is our main event, if I remember right. Yes, it is. Tornado Tag Team Steel Cage Match. Nightingale and Guardian of the Lady Hawks take on LWL General Manager Stephanie Hudson Lytle and Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie Hudson Lytle, also of the Lady Hawks. Pitfall submission or both members of a team escaping a cage. Okay. One or the other. Or the other. <laughs> wow, the main event is the one that takes the longest to load. Of course. Ladies, quit ma doing your makeup. Come on now. You do all stuff for us. The most custom... Um... Fair enough. Uh, entrances. 
They didn't shut off entrances. I understand. Don't worry, you just got one match left. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, Let's do that. You know, you know all uh, all three of the Lady Hawks, especially Stephanie, have to you know do their makeup. You know, it takes a while to get all of that blue makeup on on her. You know. Hey, we got four people. How y'all doing? Hi, guys. Loading, 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 loading. Okay, so Stephanie Hudson Lytle is the one on the on the inner right. Nightingale is the one in the pink. Guardian is the one in the purple. Guardian is actually the LWL leading lady champion, aka women's champion. Which I need to get off of her. Yes, you do. I would if I could, but it's loading. Dab says start the match. It's like, it's loading. I can't. Steph is in this match, by the way, Dab. She's the one on the inner right, in case you missed it the first time. The one with the big WH on the boobs. Yes. There you go. Now you start it. We have five people. All right. Now we can start the match. And again, skipping entrances to avoid copyright. Yep. Now, is Stephanie going to betray her partner and help the other lady? No. Oh. <laughs> well, she hasn't so far. Picks her up. Stephanie McMahon in control of Nightingale. No. Elbow drop. Who's affixed by Sharani, uh, by Stephanie. I Difference. Can, yes, I know. Uh, I need that arm. Damn it, damn it, Guardian, she needs that arm. You need to go over here. Lutez press. Monkey flip. Stay. The two Down. The two Stephanies in control of the other two Lady Hawks at the moment. Ah. Ow, I need that arm. Guardian up to the top rope. Ah. Hurricane Rana. Ah. Now Nightingale up to the second rope. Elbow drop. Counter no. by Stephanie. Sam. This is the I weirdest said looking. stay down. Is it because of the participants, the ring, or the match type? What up? Uh -huh. Page, get... tur page turn by Nightingale. Diving uh, blockbuster by Stephanie Hudson Lytle. Yeah. Dragon whip by Nightingale. Single one, uh, single underhook brainbuster. Uh oh, Nightingale. Rampage. Yeah. No. Counter by Stephanie Henson Lytle. Nightingale looking to escape the cage. Now, hold on, I thought you wanted to help your partner here. Why don't you go join her? But Stephanie Hudson Lytle brings her back down. 
Is Stephanie McMahon gonna? No, she's not. I was gonna say, is Stephanie McMahon gonna try to exit the cage. Both Stephanies have changed uh, targets. Back suplex by McMahon. Nightingale, page turn. Ah. Stephanie McMahon Ow. trying to leave her partner. Nightingale stops her though. Good move. Okay. Now, I can pull the same thing. <laughs> and now Guardian kind of trying to escape the cage. Now, really, girls? Really? <laughs> it's like you don't like jo joining me. Uh, the arena was designed by my wife. And the, the participants that aren't Stephanie McMahon were designed by my wife, Nightingale, and Guardian Ow. themselves. Rampage by Nightingale. Ow, ow, ow. Freaking steel. It's like they don't like spending time with me. They keep on trying to escape. Yep. The, Without their partner. The ring mat is steel with a dragon, a uh, bumped steel with a dragon in the middle with blood spatters all across the uh, now, why mat, do you, which, is why, which is why there is a sacrifice command. Stephanie McMahon leaving the cage. And Tornado down. DDT. Now you... No, that, that's what really, all the... I'm by, I'm by myself, huh? Stunner by uh, Stephanie. Wow. Into the corner goes Stephanie. Now. Counter. Guardian Ow. of the counter. That's what all the red you see is. The ropes... Ah. The ropes are red, orange, and red. And the... Uh, the... Turnbuckle pads... Ow are meant to be Dragon Balls. You can't really see it, but there's red stars on them. Ah! Ow. Guardian pandering to the crowd when she could be, oh, I don't know, trying to win the match. Snap suplex by Guardian. Now Guardian's gonna. Uh, I thought she was gonna try to. Yeah, no. Beautiful moonsault. But, no. But Stephanie counters. Alright. Let's see. Now she's gonna try to escape. But her partners. Uh, her partners in the Lady Hawks aren't gonna let her. Ah. Ah. Now Nightingale trying to escape. Moonsault by Guardian. No. Guardian keeping Stephanie distracted. Ow. Ow. Uh, no, I think that's just a generic video, if I remember right. And now Guardian Ow. trying to escape. Stephanie's getting to her feet, but she's not going to no. make it. The Lady Hawks uh, win. Like, okay. Okay. That was quick. Nightingale kind of celebrating. <laughs> to be fair, she kind of has a reason to. Yep. We get eight people right as the main event ends. Mm. Yeah, of course. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys. That is going to do it for her because I, I was, need sleep. She needs sleep, but I was... Um, if anyone in the chat is up for it, I was actually thinking of doing some Jackbox after we see what the, uh, what SmackDown potentially has in store for us. Remember, all match cards are subject to change. Alright, so we will start off with a rivalry match between Sharania. Yes, there is a difference between Sharania and Stephanie Hudson Lytle. Yeah. And Alicia Fox. Brizongo, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, but facing off against the Freebirds, Michael Hayes and Buddy Roberts. Austin Aries versus Devon Dudley. 
New Evolution members James Harrison and Nick Smith taking on Rated RKO. Sting from 98 taking on WWE World Champion V Revolticon. Bray Wyatt taking on Cactus Jack. Undertaker promo. And WWE United States Champion Baron Corbin taking on Big Show from 2000. Again, remember, all match cards are subject to change. Especially this month. Especially this month. Um, anyone still in the chat, if you are up for some Jackbox, please say so now. Because if I don't see anybody saying anything, I'm going to assume nobody's up for it and just call it here. I'll we'll have to switch the game, but... Yeah, that won't take very long, though. Did you know Undertaker can... I can't pass through metal detectors. I did not know that. What? Undertaker can't pass through metal detectors. He probably has, um... Hip replacement or something. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. What up says he's up for it, so all right. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. While I'm gone setting up the stream, you guys, uh, oh. Head over to Jack Pat Box and, uh. Oh, Jack. he's got, he's got unusually high iron is what it is. Really? That's interesting. Yes. But, um, don't go anywhere, guys. I'll be right back. My wife will not be with me. She has to get some sleep. Because I freaking work. Um, but I will be right back while I set up the stream. Get yourself something to eat, something to drink, uh, go to the bathroom. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> also, why the urn worked to get him up. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, get yourself something to eat, get yourself something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't, uh, see you guys in a second. 